So we defeat out there today, but a narrow one against a side that had 11 men when we had 10. So, you know, we, we battled, we couldn't quite get back into the game at the end. But what are your thoughts after that one? In a nutshell, it's a defeat. That's it, as far as I'm concerned, irrespective of the amount of players on the pitch at the end of the game, there was 11 on it when they scored. And I wasn't pleased with, it, with the way we started the game. Um, um, a lot of things frustrated me as the game went on, but if I start talk about them, I'll get into trouble. So it's, um, it's one you, we've just got to wait, but slate cleaning, walk on to the next game. Really, it's it's another goal, another game where we haven't scored a goal. Is is that becoming a bit of a worry for you now? No, no, not at all. I'm, um, like I said, it, it, the moment you go down to ten men against a team like Barnet, who can you know they can manipulate the ball well enough in the first two thirds of the pitch, um, but I thought. We sort of we were fairly comfortable with ten men and mm. looked looked a bit of a danger on the uh, on the break, but that's not the way we wanted to play the game. But you know, I haven't seen the incident with uh, regarding AJ and his challenge, but I did see the one in front of me near enough with the one on Ryan Jones and that. For me, you know, it quit. So from from that point of view, I think the rub of the green's going against us a little bit. Um, but you got to be you got to be strong. You got to be you know. When the going gets tough, the tough get going, and um, we've got ten in a, in, a, in a medical room at the minute, and that is bigger disappointment than losing a football match. Yeah, I mean, when you look at the character from the side to not concede any further goals when we went down to ten men, is that one of the positives to take? From oh yeah, game? you got to say that. I mean, look, we restructured ourselves. I'm always one of them. If you lose a man, I'm very, I'm very reluctant to go with one up the front because you're literally conceding the ball's going to come into your, you know, your, your back third at, at will. So, in fairness to the lads. You know, we went we went three four two, um, and the two boys up the front, you know, did an admirable job of, of chasing shadows basically and hoping they were going to make mistakes, which they did. Um, but I thought on occasions that the lads who maybe are better on the ball than they should, but then you, they're running, they're probably running another two or three miles more than what they normally yeah. do. So towards the end of the game, particularly when they got an opportunity arises, I understand that there is fatigue and whatever you end the ball. Or the effort is there, but the the quality isn't quite there. Like Harry runs into the box, the ball runs it off the pitch. I mean, you know, that's just something you didn't, you wouldn't do if you if you, if you hadn't been running around like a particularly coloured blue part of a fly. And and still a good um, send off from the fans after the game, clapping us off. Our fans aren't stupid. Yeah. I tell you what they do. They know when lads are giving their all, yeah. and and they are, they are. And now. I'm not going to stand here and, and tell you everything's rosy in the garden because it's not. We not you know we haven't won in the last four games, um, so I'm aware of that. They're obviously aware of that. But like you said, the way that everybody, all four corners of the, the ground, stayed and, and clapped the lads off was brilliant. Because I can see, you know, I'm, I'm frustrated. I'm disappointed in one or two things about uh, the way we started the game um, because it was a real clear plan this game today. That's why I played the two strikers as I did, and I just felt they went a little bit off script, you know, and. When people do that and go individual, it's one way of coming straight back out of your team.